starting to the bottom of the map and the Azubu player successful against Linok in the last game. It is Azubu Vines. Can he do it? Can he win this map and take the victory for his team? Or will the Protoss player to the top of the map be the one to claim victory on Polar Knight? It is the last man standing from Team FX Open. FXO Hurricane! Hurricane has 17 maps played in this matchup and uh, it's kind of, it's one of his weaker matchups. He only has a 47% win ratio. He won uh, 9 maps, uh, sorry, he won 8 and lost 9. And Mines on the other hand, as we said earlier, we don't really have a lot of data to go on for him. Uh, he only played a single best of 3 in Heart of the Swarm offline against Protoss. So it was against Creator and he lost it with an 0-2. Also, we assumed earlier that Vines was a planned sniper for Lino. So he could have prepared this matchup in particular. So we're not quite sure what he's going to do in this matchup now in particular. Yeah. But in general, Azubu just with a great position here to claim victory in the team match today. Looking forward to seeing what sort of strategy Vines is going to pull off because, like I've said time and time again, he is the aggressor. He is the guy who's going to do something nuts. I mean, I would not have been surprised to see a proxy. Even if he goes for three gate pressure here um, to try to deny his opponent an expansion and scout the tech, that would be very Vines like yeah. to me. I mean, he can afford to do that. If he sits in the booth right now and just goes for a YOLO build and is like, guys, I already did what, what I was supposed to do. I took down Lenok, the rest is up to you. We have two players to take him down. I would not fault him for that at all. If you really go into a team league match that is based on uh, the elimination system, then you have just sometimes snipers in the game that are only designed to take down one opponent. If they achieve more than that, that's always awesome, but that's their only job. So if they focus on a certain matchup, you can't blame them for this. But right now, of course, in the PvP, both of them can win this. Hurricane, definitely the more experienced player in Heart of the Swarm, especially in an offline environment. But Vines has shown us in the game against Lenox that he can uh, compete with any player on the FXO range. I think that Vines might go Stargate here. Um, he's already shown us, or his teammate has already shown us that, and I uh, would not be surprised if they have some more styles. But it is a Twilight Council, in fact. So we'll see. Uh, on the other hand of things, Hurricane goes for a quick Mothership Court and double gates. So he's going to pressure with Stalkers and get a good scouting read on his opponent very early on here. Double Stalker production already has the one, so three Stalkers could do some damage here. And will he intercept the Mothership Core? going to be close. And yes, he does find it. And uh, the Mothership Core needs to rethink things here. <laughs> yeah, that was a very interesting thought process that the Mothership Core had. He has had. his own Stalker, but does he really want to trade a Mothership Core for this? Well, he had enough damage, to, I guess, to, uh, to take it. But at this point, Hurricane is a little bit reluctant to actually fight this battle, so he moves back. But yeah, the uh, Twilight Council is now done. Oh, Stalker needs to be careful, and it is the Inca Memorial build. Yeah, Dark Shrine coming up here. But uh, will he get it up? Because right now, <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Hurricane is is giving him some trouble. Uh, the three stalkers coming out here are going to snipe one, first of all, and then continue the scout. And if he can get in the main, he gets in the main. Uh, Probe walks in. Yep. And he does not scout. But the Mothership Core certainly will. The Mothership Core is going to town now. At the same time, here comes the Mothership Core in the main base at the bottom. To the top, we still have him doing damage. Here come the Stalkers on the other hand. And I just do not think that he has enough here. Well, he's going to push this back with probes. The Mothership Core will win that battle. Yeah. But there's a pylon in his opponent's main and the robotics is finished. He sees the pylon on the other hand, looking really, really good for Hurricane right yeah. now. He's going to kill some probes here. Mothership Core doing extra damage. Cancel on the gateway. That's how desperate he is. That Zealot not getting anything done here. That's over. And it's almost like the game ends here. Uh, it does. Sorry. Twilight Council, or uh, rather the Dark Shrine, it's finished just in time for the pylon to die. The Observer the is there. Observer is there. The pylon is gone, and there's the GG. And yeah, the Inca Memorial build working like it did in the best days of Inca. Yeah. Exactly the same result. AKA not at all. Okay, but once again, keep in mind that Hurricane, of course, here with the start of a comeback. But keep in mind that 
I personally think that Azubu expected this. Yeah, probably. So. I still think that we had Vines as a sniper. So I don't think the coach is going to be too unhappy. He's probably he was probably thinking before the game, okay, listen, if he takes this, it would be amazing. But he already took out Linok, and that's what he was supposed to do. So now there are two players left, and they could talk the entire duration of this game and of the last game. They talk about who's going to be play, uh, playing against um, Hurricane, which map do you want to play, which order are we going for. Yeah. So I feel now Hurricane's real task begins. I agree with you here. And uh, he really has to prove himself against whoever is coming out next. And I feel like right now, I don't want sleep. I think it could be. I think it could be center. I feel sleep is going to be one of the players that we are going to see. But yeah, I feel the three players that come to mind immediately are sleep, center, and boom boom. You could see boom boom as well. Definitely a possibility, a strong possibility at that. Yeah, so right now we have a 3-2 score in the team match. We have uh, Azubu in the I lead. I got a relog, sorry. And yeah, things kind of a little bit like expected. So for us, it's of course always the question, okay, if you were a coach, what would you do? What kind of strategy would you go for? We've been talking about this a little bit during the last game. In our opinion, we had Vines as a sniper for Lenoch. He accomplished that goal, and now he lost to Hurricane, as probably expected in a different matchup then, since we don't think he prepared for this too much. And that's what you have to do in the team league. You try to just train a few specialists, and you try to analyze your opponent's lineup. And that's something that probably the entire Zubu team did, because they lacked their best players. So for them, it was not only a chance for their B team, as if you so want, or for the players that don't get as much exposure as uh, Supernova and Symbol. It was a chance for them to just prove themselves. And Patience did that today. And I feel, at least for, for me, I would say Vines did that too. The win against Lenoch, he could have, of course, won that game a little bit faster with upgrades. But overall, I mean, that was really well played. So, yeah, kudos. I, I, liked, I liked how he played it. And just that type of scouting build is great against an aggressive player who likes to do all-ins like Vines does. And it is going to center. be center, in fact. So I like this choice. Uh, he needs to bring his A game, though. Because they've only got two lives left. Yeah. So, Tyrant player first. And I guess then we are most likely going to see, uh, going to see a Zerg player, if need be. Yeah, uh, and I almost feel like Boom Boom more than Sleep for that matchup. Well, only time will tell. Sarah, the former Quantic player, currently not ranked in WCS. Sleep doesn't have the most impressive win record against Protoss. He has only 40%, so it could definitely be Boom Boom. But first of all, it's a Terran player that's, uh, that Hurricane has to deal with. And Hurricane, I mean, keep that in mind, he's the strongest player on the lineup, so that's kind of what we expected. He's the one that Choya is banking his hopes on now. And five games? Yeah, we have another break, guys. So we will be back in five minutes with the sixth game of the day, so see you in a few, and then we have Hurricane up against Sam.